Copenhagen was on fate, and from the earliest hours the streets of the Danish capital were thronged by teeming thousands. To see the Gordon Highlanders with their always fascinating lilt of the pipes and swing of the kilt. And then the Prince, remembered by all Danes, old and young, as their own beloved Queen Alexandra's grandson. The formal opening was in the town hall, filled with distinguished guests who had come to pay him honour. And outside, every vantage point was also taken to hear him, in his own inimitable way, declare the exhibition open. Then followed an exhaustive tour for over two hours around the vast exhibits of goods shown by over 500 British firms. And there, as here, and as always, at whatever function he attends, the Prince made the point to meet and greet old soldiers and ex-servicemen. The products of British engineering firms were one of the most striking features, and not the least was the great tower of British steel which dominates the whole of the Tivoli Gardens, where the exhibition is housed. The Pathy Gazette echoes His Royal Highness's own words, may this great exhibition lead to closer and even more cordial ties between our two countries.